Welcome back everyone. This is Rob here with the latest release from Ruinworks. It's called Into the Stretching Sands. This is another one of my customizable scenes in that there are five distinct areas which can be customized between several different variations. I'll probably run over all the variations towards the end of the video. Um, it's going to be a short one this time and I will just go over the top left hand corner here of the map just so you are aware of all the uh, different things the map can do. So I'm just gonna zoom in a bit closer to the top here. In the top left, we have the scene themes. These just automatically, they're kind of like quick buttons. They automatically set the five areas to the same theme. So we've got the Misa, the road, and the settlement theme. If I zoom about out a bit. Uh, we can show you this is just the base desert area. Throw in the Misa's kind of adds in some sandy rock uh, basin. Put in the road, has a road going across the map, kind of gravelly sand strewn road and then lastly we can put in the settlement which isn't a true settlement but it has all the settlement um, variations for the different kinds of maps so it's got the house the camp and also the fortune tellers tent it's going to go back down here to the meza um, if you get confused about which area is which i have this little legend panel here in the top left as well and what this does is it displays an overlay tile which will show you the different areas leave that off for now and then the third panel up here in the top left of the screen is this new sandstorm effect i have a little note here indicating that to use these buttons these macros that are called upon here you need to have the fx master module installed and active in your world this is not yet on the uh, suggested module list for my modules um, but I will add it in if you guys want to see more of this kind of thing all this has done is made a preset from the FX master options to show a sandstorm across the scene so just to demonstrate that I'll go to the Musa and then if you just hit the sandstorm on button you can see that the sandstorm now spreads across the scene it also activates these storm sound beacons so if i bring out a token if i bring out this token you should be able to hear the storm going on and if you want to get rid of the sandstorm you can just hit the sandstorm off button um, you'll have, a wait, have to wait a few seconds as the sandstorm kind of slows down and stops you can kind of see it's fading out on the side here okay so that was the main things i wanted to go over i'll just let the music play while i show you all the variations for these five sub areas